I can't see anything. Dad. Oh, there we are. Dad, where, where are we? Sweet. This reminds me of the... No, never mind. I can't talk about that. <laughs> that one time you were all confined into a container. Your trip Shipped over across here. the... Yeah. yeah. It is always creepy being inside of these things. I'll admit. Like... If only they could talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah don't like never, we learned never flash a UV light into a shipping container. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> I guess <laughs> one of the uh, one of the constants of this show is change, I guess. Right. Like we're always just change. We're just changing things well, up. Like yep. we're keeping we're, you guessing. We're on the guessing. road now. We're so, be, yeah, me going yeah, to different this cities. Is, <laughs> this is uh, this this container could be. Come in a parking lot near you. Come to your backyard. Walmart, <laughs> locally, locally sourced. If you're in the rural western New York area and can accept a shipping container, let us know. No, please don't. Please don't let us know that. Brandon's uh, we have a ton of stuff to talk about. I printed stuff out. Like I got see that. Some ASMR for the listener at home. I got ready tonight. I got things to where's talk my, about. Where's my you should up. also pull up Facebook on your phone so you can read comments if you need them. Uh, well, you could just tell me. No. Here, just, just, you could just. I can. Oh, there goes our best boy cam. He really yeah. is. He is the goodest of boys. So, <laughs> speaking of best of, do they rank certain things like, I don't know, gyms? Like in Genesee County? I think they. Do. I think there is a committee for that. Is th is there like a best gym in Genesee County? Without a doubt. That would be Beyond Driven Fitness in oh, Leroy. That, they sponsor this stream. That's Which, yeah, weird. <laughs> That's great. I mean, that is no coincidence. It's not like we fixed that. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like we... So well, who's the best gym? Who is the best gym, though? And it is them. They have an amazing facility. Very, like, uh, you know, data-driven. Like, they will... They've got all the gadgets and apps and technologies to, like, really figure out, like, okay, you're... <sighs> Plesaurus Major isn't do, pulling its weight, so we're going to... We're yep. gonna work that you Zach knows. We're gonna you're gonna get in there <laughs> and you oh yeah, you're the upper one. That's people forget about it. I always do. <laughs> and they'll get in there. They'll they'll work you. And they are a gym that just invests in their community and in you. So help, you know, support people who support us, support you, the Second Amendment. And yeah, we also have Who's our other amazing sponsor? The greatest bag company known to man. They've got great bags. They they preserve everything that's right when it comes to bags, especially arms. Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, finish the plug. Yeah, go, you got it. You got to train I, for dude, this. Did you, you see my plug in the comments? Bouncing. You're new that, for this. That. You're new to all of this. You got to like, like beat him in. <laughs> you got to you gotta <laughs> do the ad read. Come on. It's okay. I call them advanced precision environments or whatever one night. <laughs> it's okay. With their micro environments? Yeah. I think it's a macro. Tyler, you love micro environments. I love micro environments. Yeah. Is that where you just take a little bit of the environment? Yes. Yep, just a little <laughs> you bit. You don't take the whole environment. That's too much. I'm yeah. To okay. comments now. Oh, Arms no. Preservation Inc. I guess I'll just do it. Thank there you. You've seen them in the shop. The little blue bags. Sometimes big blue bags. They've got all sorts of bags. But these bags in particular are great for preserving your ammunition, your firearms. And they have a great new line of metal defense spray, which is pretty cool. Just spray it a couple times. It evaporates and it leaves this great coating of anti-corrosion. And I've been using it on my cannons and just stuff around the house. Ammo just, cans. You, you know, know, just, just plant, plants. My cannons, and silverware, <laughs> you know, whatever, this old thing. Oh, oh my, we've had this since the revolution, this old thing. Oh, <laughs> that's my grandpa's. So, yeah, some great, amazing local Second Amendment supporters. They've been with us. We need to find out how long have they been sponsors of our stream. We need to find that out because it's been a while. We need to send them like a thank you note or something. Both uh, of them have been. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. Like they've been sponsors of ours for a long time. Like we really, uh, it, it matters. It, it's a big deal. It's a big deal for us anyways. Uh, so uh, what do you want to talk about first? You want to pull from my little bag of, pick a card, pick a card, pick a card. Starlink's don't, working don't, you know, great. You're just on your phone. I'm pulling just, the comments you know, up. And we just we we come in and you got four people, everybody's on the phone. We got a bad review. I would love to We didn't even get a bad, that. it wasn't even a review. We just got an email. We should call him. 
What do we call them? At two thir- at two it doesn't matter. Or like <laughs> Starlink's being great. Oh. Yeah, it says we're audio. Well, sorry, I'm talking to space. I'm trying my best. We're still recording audio. Oh. Figures. Might as well get this one out of the way. Do you want to read it? I can read it. You're really good. I know you, I, I'm really good at my teachers all said I was really good at my, this. My own county. So this is a little old. This is from back in July, <clears throat> uh, but it was just brought to our attention recently. And it's a very unfortunate case out of Avon. Uh, and I'll just read it. It comes from Livingston County. Sheriff uh, Doherty reports the arrest of a Livingston County resident on felony weapons charges. I mean, that's got to be a big, big deal, it's right? A couple, couple Fe- years. Felony weapons charges couple. following an investigation by the sheriff's office. So on July 20th, a deputy responded to an address in the town of Avon for an individual requesting to surrender two handguns. Okay. So an 82-year-old, an 82-year-old... I don't want this anymore. ...calls, right, and says, hey, I have to surrender. I'm not supposed to have these. I need to surrender these. I want to do the right thing, get them off the streets. What are we going to do? So uh, they... The, so he called, right? But the investigation revealed, like, fucking, you know, yeah. whatever... As always. Uh, that this guy was in possession of two pistols, which he did not have a permit for, and he was uh, he was a felon. So he, he was a convicted felon already. But still, this guy called and reported that he needed to turn in two handguns, and they sent someone to turn in the handguns, and he's like, hey, here are the handguns I'm trying to turn in. And that should be the extent of it. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, that's what the public, I think, would want, is get these guns off the street... So uh, he was transported and turned over to Central Booking. So they took an 82-year-old guy and they put him in the back of a car. They brought him down to Central Booking at the Livingston County Jail for processing and pre-arrangement detention. And the DA's office uh, was contacted in regards to bail. And he was released on his own recognizance after arraignment because it didn't qualify for bail. And they have a court date set. And... So there we go. That's all I got on that. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try to find some updates on this and see yeah. see where it stands. But I mean, what do you think out there? Leave a comment below. Uh, let us know. I mean, is that? I mean, generally, we're supportive, and the sheriff support us around here. As far as I was us being like Second Amendment lovers, right? Uh, but this that that just seems wrong. That seems like the wrong way to handle it. I don't know. I. Without, without obviously knowing what happened and saying that he was surrendering them, maybe because well, they caught him and mm-hmm. said to surrender him. But yeah, we should foil request the uh, yeah, you know, coming at, uh, the, co- coming at the same time as the other foil request. That yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Never. Yeah. <laughs> I've been very loud lately about uh, <clears throat> believing that felons should possess firearms. I, I always say the caveat, unless you're a violent or you know sex offender, you should not have your firearms rights restored. But I don't know his previous charge and why he caught a felony back in the day. But say it was theft or mm-hmm. drinking and driving. You're a big POS if you do that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. say you got felony DUI. Like, I definitely don't think that should bar you from being able to protect yourself with a firearm. Yeah. Didn't say if he was a resident either. It just said that they went to Avon. That, that is true. Uh, it does. Oh, no, of Avon. Uh, of Avon. Ron, Ron, yeah, I don't want to say his gotcha. name. The, the, dude, the 82-year-old of Avon. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, Michael says... Want to do the right thing? Straight to jail. Straight to, straight jail. to, straight to jail. jail. Straight to jail. Straight to jail. Under cook, over cook. <laughs> if he'd only had one pistol. Maybe. Three pistols. Sometimes maybe good. So, so yeah, that's the news out of Livingston County. Thanks, that, that's, Livingston. That's, that's not good. That's, that's can, a, uh, can I read one more comment real quick? Yeah, please. Keep them coming. Jonathan says, checking in from Columbus, Ohio, boys. Make all the jokes you want about Ohio, but they get some freedom here. I'm not going to make fun of Ohio because my mom taught me not to make fun of the uh, handicapped. <laughs> the lesser able. The I, lesser able. The mics are very expensive. Please don't drop one. Don't, <laughs> don't actually drop one. We, we're going to work on getting you a pod mic. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. Hi. It's all right. You have to build up to it. You have to, yeah. to, you have to earn it. Yeah, you have to read an ad first. I need an ad to read first. <laughs> <laughs> Spotify for podcasters. Go on. What's it about? That's great. That's great. It's great audio too. Ooh, the train. The train. It's, it's delight. It's a nice. It's that's a, it. That's that's our call. Spotify. For they're, coming, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, so we've got 
Unfortunately, September 13th is coming closer and closer. Very fast. Tomorrow's September 1. Yep. I mean, it's it's coming. And we really haven't gotten any more information from the state. They no. set up their website, and we have an account on there, begrudgingly. Like, under duress, we mm-hmm. have an account on there. And I don't know. We... Do you want to talk about, see what the people think about your plan for the 13th? Like, because I'm in favor. Do you want to leak it right now? Someone else commented, Mr. Allen, said the exact same thing as what we were saying. That wasn't on this post. No, but that's exactly what we. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that is. So I guess our our plan, we're not going to make a post about it just yet. We were going to wait a little sooner, but we kind of talked about it on the stream earlier. Yeah. On the 13th, I think we're going to essentially just sell 22 at cost even if you don't have a 22 you should come out and we're just going to flood the system we want 100 background checks in minutes we we want just thousands of people to come out and do the background check to the point where it can't break the system yeah break the system I, plus i want to do a stress test like how much will it take to break the system Rich gets the machine <laughs> they never said which machine <laughs> so so we we um keep a professional relationship i'll say with our, our local atf guys yeah and sure will not be named but uh i was talking to one uh last week about something we've got in the works just asking like hey mm-hmm. this is what we're planning does that meet these requirements he's like yeah no problem sounds good and i was like all right um also like you know shouldn't tell you this but the dealers are torn uh, we just we were talking about new york state stuff and I was like, yeah, like the, the dealers are all torn about like, do we do a protest? And like, no, nothing is sold that day, even though a ton of dealers will still do it. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's like, or do we try to like flood the system? And the ATF guy on the phone, he goes, you think it's going to take more than one check to, <laughs> to break yeah. their system? It's just going to break. But I do agree. And I'm going to one up this deal. I say the first hundred people, if a if hundred people, and I think more will come down. The first 100 people that come down on the 13th, starting at 9 a.m., one free box, 22 per person. Okay. First 100 people. How many people are watching right now? Uh, well, about 2 million. So. That's, that sounds good. Well, 100 people, it's still limited to that. So parking is limited. And you might have to stand outside. <laughs> there will be a line. Uh, so, we yeah, we, we are not going to make a post about that yet. Yes. So yeah. you're, you're only hearing that. I mean, tell your friends, but you're only hearing that, like, now. But that's going to happen. So... September 13th, that's a Wednesday, like we're going to open at 9 a.m., first 100 people, one free box of 22 per person, all right? And we're going to have a st- sale still going on. We've got yep. Until a what, great what, sale on ammo right now. we do that up to the 13th? Yep. You've been past it? Or yep. are gonna, okay. Probably right up to the 13th. I mean, I just want, you know, I mean, we got to eat too, but I just want as much ammo to be in people's hands. I mean, you should have been buying ammo Little by little, like a savings account, right? Yeah, it's a shame that some people uh, have to get forced a a little bit to do that. I mean, it's not like ammo is not going to be available Mm -hmm. after this, but I certainly understand people's aversion to a background check and Mm -hmm. and paying a fee to accessing a a, a constitutionally protected, naturally born right. Mm -hmm. I mean, there were big issues when we charged people to vote, you know, and like that's a a big thing. and, And I think it's a very similar issue or the first amendment i just did an interview for spectrum was that yesterday right uh, two days two ago, days ago. Yeah. and that was one of the things i said was could you imagine if every article like yeah you can have free speech you have all the free speech you want but you have to pay two bucks uh for every article that you publish and it's free i mean you, you, you can say whatever you want like this you still have the right to do it it's not free but, but you got to pay two dollars and fifty cents every article you publish free, so yeah. I, I think that's a very comparable argument uh and it's a very dangerous you know, slippery slope that we're going down. I, I don't like it. Two dollars like this year, ten dollars next year. Yeah, absolutely. It's gonna keep uh, going. Yeah, seriously. Do we have some comments? Just read them. Whatever they are, read them. Uh, okay. Another gun no shop. Filter. Another local gun shop is closing in Rochester. There's a couple now, actually, yeah. more than just Rochester. Unfortunately, I heard. Um, I think we're up to what six that I know about that are either either have been closed or are confirmed closing. Yeah, uh, that was one of the things I pulled up. Uh, Average Joe's. They're over there in Henrietta, where yeah. the DMV, they're not there anymore either, the DMV, right? No, I think they and where um, Traditions, or not Traditions, what was the archery? I think you're right, wasn't it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, Average Joe's, 
They're they're closing. Uh, <clears throat> does it say here when they're closing? I might not have printed off the entire thing Probably here. Probably the but 13th if I were to They're guess. doing, yeah, they're, uh, which is sad. I mean, you know, it's one of those things, obviously, like I've been watching a lot of Shark Tank lately. Mm -hmm. So like Mr. Wonderful would be like, you know, you should be you should be happy. Like your competitors are closing. Like yay! But it's like no. Like no. That's not how the industry is. That's We're all not in this how together. The Second Amendment is absolutely like uh, another shop closing yeah. is bad for all of us. It's bad for just the Second Amendment community. And it's just it's not good. And my heart goes out to those guys. I mean, it no. takes a lot to open a business and to put yourself out there, um, no matter what the business is, and and it's hard to. To fold it in, and it, I don't think it's because of the business. You know, it's not like they didn't do a good job. I think it's because the laws here in New York are, are making it so hard. Uh, it's it's crazy. What else, what else we got over there, Ty? Um, people bringing up the Hamburg Gun Show. Yeah, yeah we're gonna so, be there. September's busy for us. Yes, I'm September excited. is busy. The Hamburg Gun Show, September 9th and tenth, Saturday and Sunday. Nine to four. There's going to be 500 tables there. And we've got a, good one. a chunk of them. I can't remember how many we have at Hamburg. Oh, yeah. The biggest Hamburg show I've ever heard. Yeah. It, that's just talking to Bruce today. It's it's going to be huge. And it's going to be a frenzy, I think, because it's right before that ammo so cutoff. Close, yeah. So we're going to have a ton of ammo on site that day. We're going to have a ton of guns. The Erie, Allegheny, and Niagara County clerks are going to be on site. So awesome. you can go and get a handgun if you, you know, live mm -hmm. in those counties. Same day. Uh, same day. Yeah. So that'll be awesome. And it's seven bucks to get in. It's at the Hamburg Fairgrounds. So it's south of Buffalo a little bit. It's at the, like the Erie County Fairgrounds, the Hamburg, yep, right there. Hamburg Fairgrounds. Uh, guns, knives, ammo, military surplus. We're going to have really cool furs. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a really great setup there. So we I got a banner, actually. We have so many events coming in September. I put a giant banner on the nice wall. Nice itinerary. So come down, come down uh, you know, the next time you come down, you'll see uh, this big blue banner. It gives you all the dates mm -hmm. and the information of all the events. Um, yeah, what else we got? What other events do we have? Keep going. Okay, so actually this coming Sunday is a really cool one. That we've never been to, so I don't want to. It's, it's cool, trust me, because we're going to it. It's going to be cool. <laughs> this is the third annual Militaria Collectors Society Military Show. So this is... I didn't is, know there was a New York Collectors Society either. Yeah, there is There is a... It seems rather tight-knit, but there is a community of, like, historical, you know, reenactor-type cool. guys in Rochester and the surrounding region. And they have a show at the Fairport VFW... Which is, uh, what is it like? Massen and Center? I don't know what, none of my things printed out all the stuff, but look up Fairport VFW. Yeah. It's the one with the Huey and the tank yep. out front, right? Yeah. So that'll be cool. That's from uh, 8 to 2 on Sunday. We'll be there. You gonna be there? Hi. Woo! I'll be there. What's the the, what's I'll be doing mission, autographs. What's the, the table. mission cost on that? You know, it doesn't. Sorry. I think it's. I think it's like five bucks. Five. Five to ten. I'm sure. Free if yeah, you yeah, know yeah. the firing pin. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Just tell them you already paid. Yes. Yeah. Free with every purchase over hundred bucks at the firing pit. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> yeah. Reasons, so that's, that's not true. That's the first <laughs> event. Is uh, the the steam? So yeah, the the collectors show in Fairport. Oh, here, right here. Three hundred Massenden Center Road. So I'll there be there go. signing babies, guns, wow. babies, guns. I'll do tattoos. Yeah. I'm not good at tattoos, but I'll tattoo <laughs> you if you want. Andy May. Uh, we'll be, we'll be <laughs> That'd be so cool. That'd be sweet. That would be cool. Just have Andy, at the Hamper gun show. We know, speaking of that, we were just talking about how we need to normalize having tattoos at weddings. Yeah, dude. Just uh, to commemorate. I, yeah, yeah, I wanted like I wanted to have Andy do tattoos at my wedding. Oh, man. And it got shot down. By who? Who do you think? Oh. Andy. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, can you, go, can you do, yeah, can you do no. face tattoos at my wedding? Can't, can't. <laughs> not. I think it was not going to do that. Not that he can't do it. Like he's just he's not, not going to do Ty it. Tyler's party might get a little crazy. He might. He might bring it. <laughs> Yo, honestly, if I I will get a tattoo, like <laughs> just face tattoo. Sure. I'll, two shots. Got a face tattoo. Just married. for Victoria's <laughs> sake. It's a joke, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so to to wrap up the events uh, talk. We've got this Sunday, September 3rd, the Fairport VFW Military Show. 
Then we're going to be at the Alexander Steam Show Ooh, next weekend, oh, right? Yeah. Steamy. Never, I mean, I've gone to the Steam Show a ton. I love it. All the cool old. I, my favorite thing is the guy just driving like the weirdest jalopy, towing like his family behind him, just on some like little golf cart. Or, like, crazy. He wasn't over. actually at the show. He just, <laughs> he was just in by. Alexander. Yeah, yeah. So how much water do you have to bring? Uh, the steam engines? Take to a boil. To boil. Yeah, a lot. Is it's, everyone just spoiling water? You need the tractor to get the water Sponsored for by Polar the Springs, tractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so that actually starts on Thursday, September 7th. We're going to be there all four days of the Steam wow. Show selling cool. military surplus, uh, just being there in the community. And the shop it's, will be open, too. Yeah, so and at any of these forth, events, yeah. right, the yep. store is still open, uh, and we're still going to try to do, like, the public market and the flea market when we can. So there's still a Sweet. season for that. We're still trying. Uh, so then, yeah, that same weekend mm-hmm. as... The Steam Show, the 9th and 10th, is the Hamburg Gun Show, Buffalo We're Gun all over show. the place, so I hope yeah. you guys are writing this down. And then in the around. middle of the month, September 16th and 17th, we're at the Syracuse Gun Show. That's and that's like the, the biggest, state that's the one. gun show, yeah. And I'm excited that, that is after the September 13th date, but yeah. that's still going to be an amazing show. There's super cool stuff that's going to be available. That's at the New York State Fairgrounds. Oh, uh, that's at the New York State Fairgrounds. And more than anything, I think that should be like a second amendment rally because that's it's at the fairgrounds like new york state is our host and they've basically been told they they're like the state understands that if they put all these restrictions on the gun owners they have to have at least some legal methods for us to conduct mm-hmm. legal business sure and this is like their one olive branch to us uh and they really see it like that so they're like we need to make sure that the show keeps going so I really think if you show up, that's sending a message to the state that, uh, first of all, there's mosquitoes in here. And second of all, oh, windows that right we we need to, uh, you know, support the Second Amendment and show them, like, yeah, every year, 20, 30, I don't know how many thousands of people show up to that gun show. It sends a message. It's important. Mm-hmm. So no freedom, no peace. We got a lot of events. Check our website. Check our Facebook. Follow us on social. Come find us. and. You know, we'll Are we going to be going live at all? At any of those? Oh, we should do that. We should. We should. Absolutely, we should. Do yeah. some giveaways, maybe. Just blow a steam whistle. <laughs> you can do that steam show. Yeah. What's up, fam? Steam. We're steaming. <laughs> Steamy. Heading down the old dusty trail. <laughs> Got some sand in my gully. Oh, my God, partner. All right, please tell me there's comments from others. Nope. People are just here it's, to It's cho- to you, choppy right? is what I'm getting from some ah. people. So, yeah, moving over here had one major downside, and that was that we have to use Starlink. Starlink. And we set it up not too long before this tonight. So It's not an excuse. Yeah, I know. If we had set it up maybe earlier, mm-hmm. it does take a while to, like, you know. The internet pipes just It hasn't just talked to, to the grow. satellites in a while. I need to, like. Well, hey, the satellite, hey, first man, of all, it like, goes around, so it's got to come back around. Right. And, yeah. Right. Yeah, because it does that quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me five minutes. We'll be back around. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. We, did you bring some things to talk about or no? A couple. Yeah. What do we want to talk about first? The big irons, obviously. All right. In the comments, say first, wheel gun or semi-auto? Whoever's first. While he's getting them ready. Anticipation. This is this is great content. How was your week, Brandon? Oh, so good, man. I've I've had so many positive interactions with different okay. different people. It's it's so good. It's Ooh. always something, you know. It's always something. Oh ho ho! Whoa! What's that? That's scary. This is the Magnum Research Desert Eagle that is perfectly good for us to have in New York State because of the weight, because that makes sense. So 50 AE, your awesome Action Express. Yeah, a gun can't be too heavy because that's scary. Yep, especially with this caliber. It actually looks pretty cool. What, what did they do just in the muzzle there? Was that all it took? They just lightened everything up, shorter barrel. I want to say they went for a lighter alloy, even like a titanium as opposed to a steel. I, th- I think. I know definitely the lightning cuts, right. the muzzle brake is definitely going to cut off a lot from it. The barrel is shorter. 
It's the, light. The, the recoil's got to be much more substantial. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. There's oh. a there's a photo I think somewhere on Facebook of someone shooting it where like the fireball's going around the entire <laughs> entire hand. But yeah, twenty two hundred dollars to the lucky person that wants to buy a super super cool largest caliber. I it's got to be for some auto, yeah, yeah, like that. And we're doing 10 percent off. Yeah, twenty. 20. No, oh. 20% on ammo, which we do have lots of. So if you want to do 20% and then 10% on the firearm itself, it is here waiting for a fun home to go home to. Yum. Is that cut? Yeah, it's lightning cut. So this whole thing is just... Oh, that's just something I was saying. It looks removed. like you put yeah. an RMR or something. No. You could, you could, yeah, like could you imagine putting put an RMR on I put, a, I put a holotech on there for the meme. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's a holotech. Holosun. Yeah, super cool, yeah. super fun. Rubber hand is not big enough for it. Uh, oh. Go with your baby fingers. Eosan, we met great optic. Eosan. Eosan. Oh. <laughs> Today only. Brandon Lewis. <laughs> discover optic. If you, wanna, if you wanna kill somebody. Dis discover yoke. Just send the balloon over his house. Discover yoke. And drop whatever you've got to drop. Yeah, whatever, man. Good luck with that. Joe and I are going to go film that tomorrow. A balloon? Yeah. No, but the scope. We're going to go to Polar Wave. And the discover yoke. This yep. one I'm really excited oh about. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Dude, you gotta stop scaring me with these. So, another Magnum Research, but this is the BFR, not 4570, which is what they do make it, which is really sweet. This one's in 3030. So, for all those avid hunters out there that want something just a little bit different, it is a single action only 3030 rifle calibered revolver. Drill and tap so you can put optics on it to your heart's desire. Or if you just like iron sights, it's got front and rear apertures, which is great. I definitely would probably wear gloves when shooting this <laughs> um just because there's a lot of sharp not refined edges and your hand is going to whack that pretty difficult and this the cylinder gap there you're going to get some yeah keep, you're going to get some stuff keep your keep your sausages away from there for sure <laughs> i would conceal carry that absolutely cut it to about like yay <laughs> put a foregrip yep oh yeah aow why not yeah i'm excited about this just because it's who has a chance to say they're holding a revolver that takes a rifle caliber. And, uh, like the 4570, sure, it exists. This actually seems usable. How Western, like, I guarantee you, yeah. Josie Wales would be creaming his crop right now <laughs> when he was when he saw this thing. What's that, uh, what's she retail for? These, I wanna say this is like 1400. That's not bad. Yeah. I don't, I wouldn't trust many companies to make a- Yeah, 1399. 3030 revolver, but um, Magnum Research I do trust because they pretty much only do big board stuff. Absolute beef castle. Yeah, happy about this. Again, 10% off, so $13.99. Shave off another what, 300 bones. You're ready to rock. Come down and see us. We got plenty of 3030. Yeah, 100. Yeah, 100. Yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah. Uh, math. Math was definitely. We let the computer do the talking. <laughs> That's why I work with firearms, ladies and gentlemen. Fun stuff. What does BFR stand for? Biggest, finest revolver. That's what the sticker says. So dumb. Big fucking revolver. That's what it should stand for. That's what it used to stand for. All their marketing. When they first came out, that's what it stood for. Yeah. We got some cool new stickers coming. But that's all I'm going to say. What? You're going to tease them and squeeze them like okay, that? Okay, maybe maybe the Kathy Hoko one. That's going to be a fun one. Oh, well, we got some cool ones already. Did we get a pictures of those? Oh, uh, we didn't bring any out here. Our take on Eddie the Eagle. Hey. Yes, I like that one. Thank you. I like that one a lot. Um, yeah, that one's cool. Here, let me... Uh, Supreme? You can get kind of like a preview. I'll drop a link in chat. And if you want to preview some of the stickers and stuff we're getting, you are more than welcome to. But you can't do it until after the stream. Don't leave me. Don't leave us, please. Um, a video was posting tomorrow morning with some of the new content that I've been working on the last few days. Merch. It, I mean, content for merch. I saw you looking at sports bras. Yeah. Yeah, me too. You have me to too. research. What was that all about? <laughs> I, made a, I made a sports bra, dude. Dresses, sports bras. Seems. I have no business making sports bras, but it, the opportunity presented itself. That's why we're going to shake up the industry. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> what are you doing, competitor number two? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. What are you oh doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, 
So, what do we got over there? Yeah, great, great, great stream, Brandon. Cool, thanks. I, I tried my best. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's <laughs> all right. Next topic. Baseball. <laughs> baseball. Thank you. Jesus. We've got. Do you play often. Play a lot of ball. I, I'll have a catch every now and then with the old, you know, the old kids. Mostly, it's them throwing stuff at my face. <laughs> without me looking like, Jeez. hey dad okay so the other day Ari comes in for those of you that don't know Ari is six she's about to go into first grade and she comes in and she had like you know like mud on her knees like literally she had fallen and I was like Ari like what happened you, did you fall down outside she just comes up to me and she goes yeah well I was out by the road throwing rocks at cars oh, and, I, and I was just like what no, you were not. And she just looks at me with like, you know, you know when they're your kid, they give you the same look that you give, like your partner, right? When you're trying to do weird shit. And she's just like, yeah, I was out by the road throwing rocks at cars. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know whether to be proud of you or like, like were you actually doing that? Like, Obviously, tell she, me right she now. missed. Like, <laughs> The car. And then for the next like ten minutes, she's just reenacting like her toss of like, yeah, I'd see the car coming, and I would get real close, and I would run, but then I would trip and fall, and like just the way you know, I could tell she's trying to you know pull my leg, but you're not getting anything by old dad. So, especially your daughter throws a rock. If in my you car, yeah, if you live back. in my neighborhood, and <laughs> if, you're, if, if a little six year old girl hit your rock, hit your car with a rock, I'm sorry, we don't have insurance. Nine mil goes really fast. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fast rock. That's Different kind of rock. rock. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, is that what she meant? <laughs> She's just she shooting was taking, a car. She was taking a knee. That's why her knees are dirty. Like she's just shooting at cars. Jesus. Pulls up. Shit, I, gotta, I gotta send a couple. I gotta send a couple texts. Hold on. So sale is going on until the thirteenth. Yep. We got lots of ammo, lots of firearms. Lots probably, of fun stuff. More ammo than most people around. Yeah. Just and pallets on the way. Yeah. We are still waiting for those, but those are coming in. Hopefully, probably, I would imagine next week, maybe Tuesday, because Labor Day is coming up. Yep. Which we will be yeah. open for. Yep. Yes, because that's work day, and you yes. have to work on Labor Day, hence labor. And we are laborers. Damn. That's right. The damn bourgeoisie. Labor the, the Day. The birds work for them. <laughs> <laughs> As my internet would say, the birds are not real. Back in my day, gather around, kids. Grandpa's going to tell the a story. Radio had again. two stations, Grandpa on and off. Is that what it was? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so la this Labor Day, would t like ten years ago, this Labor Day, me and my mom and dad framed in like we did the rough framing of the firing pin, all in like one weekend. Like we started Friday night. All day Saturday, by Monday, like Labor Day, we were working like all through Monday, and by the end of the day, we had the rough framing done of uh, of the shop. So, you know, maybe, gonna take a little bit to yeah, maybe us. So, what are you saying about point. right now? Yeah. What's that? So, what's the excuse now? What's the excuse now? We have gotten that. Uh, what's taking so long? What did the one guy say? Why don't you just throw in the towel? Yeah. Like, get to work or throw in the towel, right? Wasn't that the... Yeah. So, you know, I we mean, are. the, the fire... I, I, I think it. we're... Officially. I think we've we've stayed to a pretty good timeline. I mean, the, the fire was at the end of March, the very end of March, mm -hmm. right? So it's been basically April, May, <clears throat> June, July, and, and now into August, five months, right? <laughs> so, I mean, right after the fire, it took us two or three weeks... Maybe even a month to be able to think about anything. Yeah, I mean, actually physically bound. You know, we we just there was, and, and I mean, how soon were we reopen after the fire? Two days. Two days. Yes, days. Yeah. Yeah. The, the fire happened on a Friday, and we were open for business on Monday, and then we were focused on running the business and keeping it afloat, keeping everyone paid. Like it's mm -hmm. not just you know me sitting there and some part time guys that have you know full time jobs or whatever like. There's one, two, there's like four of us, five of us our, that are like, this is our career. Yeah. Yeah. This is how I like, eat. Right. Yeah. Like we have families, we have like responsibilities, like, you know, can't buy Bitcoin with, you know, Not with anymore. nothing. Not right. Well, you can't buy it anymore. <laughs> Should you be? Uh, so it took us a little bit to like get back on our feet. And then you start the process of like, all right, well, what are we doing? 
Are we rebuilding exactly what we had? You got to make a few changes because you've learned we've learned some things, right? Like all of us. And so, okay, we're gonna make some changes. You don't just, all right, one week, like let's just these are the first ideas we had. Let's just run them. Like you take a little bit of time to like delve out your ideas and like figure out what you want to do. And so then we had to take those ideas to like architects and engineers and have them look at them and go back and forth. So there's some back and forth. And then we had to go to the town. Then we had to actually get like approval. So it's not like you can just go and start buying, you know, materials. I mean, you could, you're mm-hmm. running a huge risk of not that we wouldn't get approval, but you just, you know, there's a way that you do things. Do you think right? this is America? You can just build on your land. <laughs> right. Rome, Rome wasn't you gotta, built in a You got to pay your, pay your, pay the taxes and stuff. And it's, it's crazy. It's stupid. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Either. Still want the pool uh, on the roof. Oh, but then your parking's not good enough. Oh, and then we yeah. had to come back. Yeah. So, I mean, we've gotten our approvals. We are now just in that phase of, of waiting for construction to start. And this time around, we're not in complete control uh, insofar as like we're not building the building. We've hired people to build the building and, you know, they've got other jobs. They're wrapping up. You yeah. know, there there's a process to it. We can't just, hey, hey, yo, hey, buddy, build my building right now. Let's go. Yeah. Like it doesn't work that we're way. On, we're on the list. We're just not <laughs> high on It can list, work that yeah. way, but I – don't have that much money. <laughs> you don't need money. Have you so, ever seen The Sopranos? Uh, it's it's yes. it's happening. <laughs> Trust me. Like I hate that we only have six hundred square feet and not the seven thousand we used to. It kills me having to be like this close to the like it's it sucks like every day. So it's we're all worst. shitheads. He shoots me with the salt. And we have a salt it, okay, gun. Yeah, the salt. You should probably <laughs> specify he shoots me with the salt. <laughs> Shoot him with a lot. Tyler takes his salt and he throws it on me. On salt, my leg. Salt the snail. Salt the snail. <laughs> salt the snail. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to hang out? No. I do. I just appreciate seeing the familiar faces coming back, though. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It's, I, the community's been incredible. I know I'm complaining. Guys, it's easier to focus on the people giving us hate. Yeah. But we, we do love the, the repeat customers and. All of you that still give us love. We got like a 2 a.m. I don't want to say drunken email because there's no proof of that. But we got like a 2 a.m. email. I hope it was drunk. Like calling us out. Uh, and you know, I want, one of the things that really bothered me the most was that they weren't even really a customer of ours. Like they were out of necessity because mm-hmm. you have to have ammo shipped to an FFL in New York. But the email starts with, I bought ammo online and had it shipped to your store. And it's like, well, did you even try to give us the business? Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, I get it. Times are hard right now. We all feel it, but there are certain things where I try not to compromise on. Like I try to shop at the ANG right down the road because they are a single location, like family owned grocery store. Mm -hmm. How many of those are left? Like, I mean, even Wegmans, it's locally owned or whatever, but it's like, how many of them? That's huge. It's a huge corporation, right? Like how many one location mom, mom and pop like grocery stores are left. They're right next to the dollar general. It kills me every time I see people. There, and it's privilege, I know, but it's like that's one of the things I try to do. But it's two dollars cheaper. If you care about the Second Amendment, yeah, like when you buy ammo online, you're just buying it from some dude in Ohio or from wherever that's got a company selling it for two bucks over a box because he's got no overhead, he has no physical location mm-hmm. anywhere near you, and he can just b- 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 drop ship it, whatever. And you know, it's just one of those everyone complains that Walmart shut down all the small businesses. There's, there's no gun shops. In but my then area. they shop at Walmart and don't support the small businesses. So it's, yeah. you know, that, I think that above all else, I mean, they can call you guys all the names they want. I do that too. But no, <laughs> he, called, he called the guys a name and I didn't like that either. Uh, and I mean, it sucks. We don't have a break room right now. So like when you come into the shop, you might see four dudes on their phones because yeah, two of them are off the clock, like they're on lunch or whatever. Yeah. And these two guys, if they're on their phones, like that's their job. Making posts. Like, yeah, like <laughs> that's literally their job. Uh, and then, you know, I mean, like at any job, sometimes people get a break. Like you're allowed to be a human too. Like, yep. well, I have so anyways, you're right. We shouldn't focus on the negative. 99% of you are amazing and we love you. But you're dumb and, and I hate you. No, and I no we love you. No, these ones that. we love. The ones, <laughs> the these ones we love. The ones giving us hate. No. You're dumb. I hate you. Oh and my gosh. Pack it in. See me, in, right. see me in the alley, bro. All right. <laughs> Yo, this Sunday in Fairport, come find me. <laughs> Yo, what's good? What's good? It's your boy. Oh my gosh. Please don't All right. me. Do we have any other I'm comments? Soft. Comments, questions, or concerns? Uh, just people asking. I can't say that live. Never mind. 
Do we have any 35 Remington? We do not have any 35 Remington. That's a tough That's one. That's been so yeah. tough. When when COVID hit and all the manufacturers only made like 9, 45, 556, five, the, the main calibers, they slowly started opening up the oddballs, right? And that's one of them that, like, I think, I don't know if there's much of that left on the shelves, but that's just, like, when they restart making that, that's when you know, like, okay, everything's back to fully normal because that's just, I don't want to say it's an oddball, but that's definitely, you know, if you're going to sort calibers that are still made, yeah, that's at the bottom of the list or one of them. I was it's shocked. a great caliber. But, I was shocked. Uh, someone came in today looking for a 4440 Henry original. <laughs> that same, yeah. And we can get yeah. them, which is shocking to me. Wow. Am- ammo is not as right easy to get, but yeah, exactly. Probably easier than 35 Remington, though, because 4440s at least is like a cowboy action. Yep. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 35 has been tough. The hunting, anything hunting was like the last stuff that yep. started to be made again. So, and, and with that, they started making 30 out 6, 308, 7, you yep. know, it's so... Yeah, unfortunately, I think you're going to see a lot of people learning to reload and starting. We're going to gonna have a we'll have a reloading class. Reloading. It's not going to be very good, but we'll show you how to maybe do it. <laughs> not responsible for loss of fingers. Yeah, no, no. Our friend uh, Sparky. Our friend Todd asks, "How much for Ty? Like Ty Lenal? Well, if you have Ty to ask, <laughs> just take me to Jeff Ruby's. Oof. <laughs> First, you got to take me out of state. And then, like <laughs> twice, I ain't got nothing. <laughs> Well, wow. first time I was 15. <laughs> okay, you keep saying these things. <laughs> That's okay to say when the cameras are off. Don't say that when the cameras are on. <laughs> I'm turning red, not because it's true, it's because it's hot. And, and the, <laughs> the, the red. It's the reflection. Just the, the view. <laughs> yeah, it's what the fuck. <sighs> you always got to make things so weird. You got to do this. My only demand is my first, first of all. <laughs> this has been my favorite <laughs> second right. day of doing this. Right. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm, why did I say yes to this? <laughs> no, that's Mr. McFeely. Ooh. What? Mr. McFeely. Sunset's so pretty tonight. Can we close? Can we just go? Walk in the sun. Sit on the grass out front. Jesus. <sighs> I kind of wanted, we haven't even talked about this, but we're going to talk about it live, so we're going to commit to it. Great. Uh oh. Kind of want, like, I kind of want to do like a little customer design thing where people, even if it's a napkin sketch, if you're, I'm, I suck at art, but um, let us know, like, let us know some cool designs. If you're out there, just hand draw something and give me some. Are we talking like sticker t-shirts? Yeah, or what, like what just like a logo, a design, something. I, if it's cool enough, I'll definitely publish it and hook you up with some merchandise with it on there. Uh, I'm only giving this to the people that are watching. I'm not going to really publish that. I think that'd be a cool little see what people like. Be super see what people fun. think. Yeah. yeah, it'd be super fun. I love seeing you driving and you see one of our bumper stickers. Like that's fun. It's one of the coolest things. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun seeing the old ones too. Yeah, seeing the uh, seeing the originals. Yeah, which are gone. Like those files are. I have to recreate them, and I don't. I kind of don't want to. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. nice to leave those like. Where they are, you know, the, rep, yeah, the, yeah. the legacy. We'll call it the, the legacy. Can we see this yeah. table or not really? You can see it. I mean, you can see it with that, right? Yeah. This table, I don't know if you can uh, suck in, dude. For those of you that that recognize, uh, <laughs> I guess let, let me ask: Does anyone recognize where this where this came from? What what this is? You can probably see the door handle. I'll give you a clue. I guess it is. A, it's a door. I don't know if that's enough. Thank you. <laughs> that's enough of a of a hint. But yeah, I know. I, I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. Same. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, this, this this is the door uh, that used to lead from the retail area into the back room, and we very rarely Look, would I shut it. Way more stickers on this. It does feel like there were more. Yeah. Mm. Like I think it's because it's like laying down. Yeah, maybe. Definitely. Uh, but yeah, this was one of those things that like after the fire, we got everything out that's important, like ammo and guns and inventory and whatever. And I remember the next morning, Tyler and I, we were like the first ones there and we just started pulling down like the patches and, you know, everybody else started showing up and we're pulling down like everything uh, historical and, and 
you know, all the things that are, are emotionally significant to us. And we pull all those things down and you just start getting down to like, all right, well, what's left to grab? And we literally like started taking the screws out of the wall that hold the hinges on. And we're like, yeah, we're going to, this is a, a piece of history of, of the yeah. shop. I mean, it tells a story and I want to have a huge clothes section at 2.0 and I want this to kind of be like, yeah, epoxy it, turn this yeah. table, yeah, and That'd make it cool. for yeah, t-shirts yeah. and stuff. We should all sign it. That'd be cool. Now we have the space. I mean, we could come in here, kind of left, you know, before we never really had a spot where this could just sit for a few days. Yep. And like, nobody's going to mess with it. Like, yeah. we could just like lock Cam in here, leave him with the epoxy. Wait, we don't already? Come in here. <laughs> bucket in the corner. He's waiting to yeah. come in to sleep. Like, this is his home. You know? He lives here now. <laughs> uh, to repeat, because uh, we glitched, because Starlink is not working well for us. Uh, yes. So uh, draw a logo, draw a design, draw something that you think would look really cool on a sticker or a shirt that's kind of two-way related or that you think embodies the firing pin and submit it to the shop. Submit it in the comments of this. Are you on your setup for the new warm and fuzzy what? flash drive will come out? I just, I just got the email for it. We're here at work. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just thought there was Content. something important over there. <laughs> something more important than... Uh, Share with the class, Joe. Oh, my gosh. Black Triangle. We have some amazing letter openers, and they just sent me an email that they're going to be releasing a I new... Wow. What the fuck? Dropping oh, tomorrow. Well, let's get our phones yeah. out. We're just, we're just live on the internet. <laughs> oh, I didn't get that email, dude. Oh, shit. It's a bummer. Oh. Isn't it really awkward when you open your camera and it's on selfie mode? What? That happens to me a ton. <laughs> the worst Our live thing. studio audience. <laughs> that is. <laughs> we do actually have a live studio audience tonight. <laughs> he, had, he had the SUNY garden. He's puking. Um, they definitely don't listen to us. Because if they did, they wouldn't serve us anymore after last oh. week's stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. We didn't bring it that, up, though. I didn't. We were literally doing a product review for a Chinese company and you went straight hard. <laughs> the Chinese are going to take over. Well, New they York. will. It's bad, <laughs> but send us your optics to break them down. You know, that was fun to edit. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, you edited that out? I had to. Why? Professional. Free Hong Kong. I mean, <laughs> Taiwan is an independent state. Taiwan is a real place. <laughs> Wait, why is Winnie the Pooh coming at us? Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> uh, We're not going to be able to rent stuff, to children anymore. Fun stuff. Our social credit is in the trash. Our social credit is in the shit. <laughs> coming to America soon. Oh. Wait, wait, Donna, you, you don't you don't watch the episodes after on Spotify? For podcasters? Spotify for you. Spotify is, I think, the best way to view this. If you're not watching us live, yeah, 100%. Spotify, definitely. Give us a follow. It helps. Give us a listen. You know, Hit the little bell button so you just, get notified. You know, Leave it on your computer running all the time. Like, <laughs> leave it for your dog. Your dog will love. Your dog will probably to really love yeah. some Spotify. Yeah. Let us Spotify. radicalize your pets. <laughs> Thanks. Now I have a sticker idea. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I'm gonna write that one That's down. That's great. I love the the backdrop. It's, 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 yeah, the, the background is a pug. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep talking while I type, boys. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, Michael. We did see your question. Um, Michael asks. Whenever Brandon's ready. We're good? I'm, I'm okay. ready. Yeah, sorry. I read something online saying New York is no longer going to use uh, NICs and solely rely on the state for background checks. Is that true? So yes and no. We The state is using NICs, but we're asking the state to use NICs for us because they told us to ask them. Yeah. We, and, then, and then they're charging us to do so. We are no longer allowed to use the federal NICs as yeah. the FFL. We now have to go through the state. It's what's known as a point of contact system. There's actually a lot of states, like more than half of the states are like this now, which makes me nervous. 
I mean, they're not going to get rid of Knicks, but it's like what almost what's the point of having it? Even yeah. I mean, all those states still go through Knicks. It's just the state is now the clearinghouse. They have all the control. And yeah, they're charging a fee. They've got to cover bureaucrats wages. I mean, that's how it works. Yep. So uh, we talked about it last week. I, uh, I we have submitted a FOIL freedom of information law request. So the state, uh, like the feds, has a law where unless they're like secret and going to damage like investigations or whatever that are ongoing, if there are records, the state has to give them to us. So I meant to, I did print it out, but I forgot to bring it over here. I printed like everything I'd asked. Uh, but I asked for, you know, say the structure of this division in Albany. How many people work there? Like, is it... 40 investigators supported by 400 administrative staff, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what are their salaries? How much are we spending to oppress ourselves? Uh, what are the methods used when they do a background check? Are they literally just, yeah, we are opening up some type of, you know, web portal and the dealer types the account information into here and then it's just transposed into Nix and then we get an answer and there's really just putting a website in between us and Nix? Like, what are they actually doing to earn that nine dollars per gun and two fifty per ammo, they're keeping us safe, bro. Street I, crime is so high right now. I mean, this is certainly an answer, and we'll see. We'll see how it works. I don't think it's going to do a darn thing. Just like most gun control has done nothing to affect violent crime. Disagree. But, Disagree. Yeah, I think you should just call nine one one if you have an issue. Yeah, we all got cell phones, right? You're telling yeah. me you don't feel safe in Rochester because of all this gun control. <sighs> I mean, I know that any criminal would have had to have gotten a background check to buy that ammo. 100%. So, dude. Yeah, it's 100%. I just, I really do appreciate the state for keeping us safe. Mm -hmm. I mean, they were real quick. My car got broken into and they, they stole it. They were real quick with that. They, yeah. they got that stuff back real fast and I thank them. I mean, you did get your stuff back. You did I did, back. but that was yeah. because there was a shooting. and they That was through it. like, yeah, they didn't. They didn't so it was pretty quick shooting. <laughs> <laughs> so I got my cart. Your stuff, stuff was your stuff was turned into lost and found, essentially. Like, right? Kind it's of. Like, the craziest lost and found ever. <laughs> so my car got smashed into in December. And uh in Brighton, not Rochester. No. <laughs> uh in Brighton. Brighton just sounds fancy. It does. Yeah. It does. It's not the cusp of Brighton. <laughs> and there was uh they stole all of my stuff. Uh, I may have had some ammo in the car. Nothing serialized. But yeah, there there was a shooting. My my range gear. There was a shooting in Rochester like two weeks later, and my ear pro had my name like Tyler TFP staff, and this cop found it in this house in the High Falls area, and was like, I don't know exactly who that is. So he called the shop, and the you guys gave him my number, and he called me. He's like, bro, did you lose all this stuff? I'm like, yeah, you just found it. Yeah. It's so cool. Cha, so, cha, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yep. Right. That's no. Nope, that's the stream. Right, well, that's the stream. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'm never gonna do that again. Just gonna. Kid goes to one comedy show and he thinks he's a fucking. Yeah. He's trying. He's prepping for Kill Tony right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love Kill Tony. He's growing on me. Tony Hinchcliffe is my favorite. He is, he is funny. Oh, something's happening. Something. What's going on? We got something. Oh, what's this? I feel like, I feel like King Arthur. Probably check to make sure. Is. What is that? It's the Gerson. There you go, buddy. I don't, I don't want this people killer. I don't want to play what, am I, what am I going to do? Guns are dirty. Fingerprints on it. The Gerson. The new. Another one. This is the. Bar Another one. <laughs> the Beretta copy. Or sorry, a Gerson turkey copied the Beretta tip up. So you got a 380. Put your round in there, close her up. And then after you fire your first shot, because the slide is so dainty, it'll physically kick the round out and do it again. So for those who want something super, super cool in 380 and not spend thousands of dollars, that I think the new the old Berettas are actually going for nowadays. These are last now for 475, which is really, really awesome. Weapon light capability. You have that cool tip up barrel. We have Neat. we have one as a rental in all gold. Oh. I wish we had that one to show. That one's flavor really cool. Flav. It is a flavor flavor. If it had a little clock wrapped around it, it'd be 
even cooler. Yeah. That's fun. Bonus round, guys. Semi auto, 380, 10 plus one, double single action. Woo! I think a Decox. God, guns are fun. So They're just cool pieces of they machinery. They are cool. Like, objectively. Works of art, for sure. They're neat. And you can use them to, like, defend your, your life. Yeah. Pretty thank, cool. Thank you, crowd support. Or get money. Crowd-funded, <laughs> audience-supported pistol. We may have already missed it. I saw there's a Mandalorian, like, meetup. Like, that's a growing thing. Really? Like, the, the way of the Mandalore and, like, guns are your religion. Like, I know some people treat that as, like, a little loophole to get around certain things, and I'm kind of all in favor of it. <laughs> but, yeah, there's, like, I want to say... Man, I wish someone could look it up, but there's like a legitimate meetup and it's like, yeah, open carry of firearms is highly encouraged. Like that's part of it. And like, we want this to be like a positive, fun, safe thing. And they never go to the Sikhs. Where's the- <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing. Right? Yeah, well, yeah. They've been yeah. doing that for years. Yeah. <laughs> like generations. But this is cool because of Star Wars. Where, I mean, where's the Sikhs this? are pretty it's cool. Not this <laughs> no, definitely not mm-hmm. in New York. I'm, I'm pro Sikh. Uh, here's looking. Re- reminder for the recertification of pistol permits. Brandon's on his phone, so we'll just wait. Yeah, by uh, technically midnight tonight, so September 1st, if any of you who have not recertified your pistol permit need to, because it has changed from five years to three years. So yeah. September 1st. We'll mark that. If you did it last year, the year before, technically it was three years after that. So for me, I did it last year. Therefore, I have to recertify two years from today um, and then three years following that. You can easily do that. I think, Ty, can you go and put a link in the comments? You, I just you did, did. Perfect. <laughs> so re- recertification, you got your do recertification or recertification status. It's seriously as easy as that. You put in your status. Um request it'll pop up saying when you're good to go or not good to go if it comes up with an error that means you have to do it if it does not come with anything that means you should still do it if it comes up with something saying that you're good to go on a date then you're good to go they will not send you an email they will not remind you they won't do anything so print that out keep it with you and that's pretty much the best plan of action for that I remember when we first started to have to do that, everyone was just, they just could not believe that New York really had no clue of what guns any of us have at the state level. Like all your guns are registered with the county clerk. That's the only one who knew who had anything. New York system was so messed up because with that renewal, you have to list out all the handguns you have. Like, shouldn't they know already? Like, why do I have to give you this information? And it's just, you know, one more. It is an interesting uh, step for sure. Yeah, feather yeah. in the hat of New York's yeah. idiocy. So, what are you gonna do? That's not the book. Take it. That's a different book. So, am I just shooting a fly with a nine mil? Well, it's a three eighty. So. Yeah. So, get wrecked. Right <laughs> drone strike in a wedding. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. And thanks for thanks the stream, guys. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was that one was really dark. Yeah. Sometimes I just word vomit. Oh, we know. I thought it was funny. If, if going back to that recertification, if you guys have questions, concerns, comments, bitches, complaints, gripes, um, you can always come into the shop and we can do it with you. Um, our computers are open. We can show you what needs to get done if you can't seem to navigate the link itself. Um, technically, September 1st um, is 24 hours. So even if you don't do it by the end of tonight, the end of tomorrow should still be okay. Amen. So please utilize us. We're here to help. We want to help you. Yeah. We are here for you. What, what else you got? Michael asks, well, bags, conspiracy theories. That's why I like him. Conspiracy theories on why your occupation is uh, asked when purchasing ammunition right now. Uh, not really a conspiracy theory. I just think they wanted to preemptively start a log of who's buying the ammunition from when the background checks come into place. Uh, we had, did we talk about that, do you think? We had some a, a troop. We had some police yeah. officers we ask. We had someone ask um, already. Yeah, about, um, I don't remember what, I think it was just a simple agency. I don't think it was actually state troopers. 
um, ask about uh, someone who was questioned about having ammo, not having ammo, having a firearm. Not really sure, other than they asked if we had record of them purchasing ammo from us, which we may, we may not. It's tough. Um, but when you ask us questions like that and give away our customers' information without really having a warrant, stuff like that, we aren't really going to help out. Yeah. So we asked they, them. We asked them yeah. for a warrant to give out the information. Yeah, because we're not. And we're still waiting, so, so we're probably never going to get that. Probably not. Yeah. But that's one thing. Like we, we've done that a couple times. We definitely asked oh, yeah. a couple agents, like, hey, <clears throat> like we have the information or we can get it to you, but we're going to need a warrant first. The only ones you can't say no to are the ATF. Yeah. And that's only on the 4473s. Yep. In the bound book. Because we don't physically but, own that. Yeah, that's all theirs. And that's one of the uh, five deadly sins that they have. You know, there was a, a big hubbub about zero tolerance for mm -hmm. FFLs, which yep. is true. There's five infractions that there's like no coming back from. And there are things like not doing a background check not keeping your logs like mm -hmm. at all. Uh, and then one of them is refusing an ATF agent of like official stuff. Like, Hey, I'm here to do this. And you tell them no. And that's it. Which like, I'm not sure the people that, because there are people that have said no, what they thought was going to happen. Yeah. Right. Nah. Like, no. Nope. Yeah. Although the one extreme we heard, the guy was on, he, he was like a kitchen table FFL here. In oh, he was on vacation. Was on yeah. vacation in Florida. That's right. uh, ATF needed to do a trace on a gun. And he's like, well, I come back, you know, in three months, we'll do it then. They were like, no, you're coming back now or you're telling someone how to get into your shop and how to get us the information. He was like, well, no. And they're like, all right, well, either you're surrendering your license. You're either coming up here and doing it. You're surrendering your license or you're going to get your license revoked and you'll never get another one again. At mm -hmm. least if you surrender it, you can get another one later. Yeah. And he surrendered his FFL. So crazy. It's crazy. That's right here in Rochester, too. Like, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, Must have been a sweet I, to answer Mike's question, I say class warfare. They want to know what your job is because they have a, I'm calling it like a no fly list that they're going to start making. Uh, they, we know the state police, they have admitted they have an intelligence unit that all it does is look at your social media and all the social mm -hmm. medias that are out there. And I'm sure we're all on the top of their list of combing through all that stuff. And you make a post that they don't like. And I bet you're going to fail that background check for ammo. And what's the appeals process for any of that? And I just do not like the idea. And, and I would love to. I would love to get Kathy Hochul, superintendent of the state police, any of those people on the record. Tell me why you need to know my occupation to mm -hmm. buy a gun. Do you need to know it when I vote? Do you need to know it when I exercise my First Amendment rights? Any one of the five? Like, no. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Uh that they want, that they even have the balls to ask that question. It's the same. It's almost like they were kind of taking a book off of the pistol permit because occupation means absolutely nothing on the pistol permit. Mine's, yeah. Mine said a company that doesn't even exist for, right. for years. Right. And Mine says arms dealer, which is true, but it's like, come on. Yeah. What, what are we doing here? Like. Mine says legs dealer. We have, That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> we have... I mean, what proof do you have of what job you work, right, that we can get from you? We have a lot of, like, retired or current adult yeah. film stars in our area. That's, like, Which is incredible. Astounding like, yeah, that there's that industry we only here. Have, we have an only fan. Not only fan, it's <laughs> only fan. Oh, my God. That's fun. That is... is I don't remember, but oh, okay. some, some of the was that? like, oh, I work at OnlyFan. I'm like, OnlyFans? No, OnlyFan. OnlyFan. Like, oh. Only have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> Prove it. Show me your account. Show me. It's the weirdest Ikea ever. Made 200 grand last year. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fans. Yeah. All <laughs> Extreme fans. This one's a Dyson stuff. fan. This one's... Yep. Any other questions? Anything else? That was a good one. I like that. Uh, do they put the fans up their butt? What do, they, what do the fans do? Al asks, what if Just I said I was a pimp? What um, what are you talking about? I mean, you tell me that's your occupation. I'm writing it down. What if you reside in Vegas and that's just what you do? It ain't easy. So, yeah. Being sleazy. <laughs> I got I to gotta see how strong your hand is. That's how I can test Let's see that. you walk. <laughs> Let's see you walk. <laughs> if you don't have a fur coat, I'm not believing you, sir. Donna asks, a guy I work with got his permit four years ago. So are you saying he needs to renew by tomorrow? 
check. tonight. Yes. And he should definitely S- check the state. September 1st. So that link that we put in there, and if he wants to, he can come on down to the shop if he's got time tomorrow. But yes, um, yeah. it was every five years. But since it has now dropped to three, technically he's two years behind. Yeah. So he needs to do that tonight by the end of the day tomorrow and get that recertified. Um, it takes, honestly, 30 seconds. You just kind of skim through, answer a couple questions. They say, this is what you have on your pistol permit, yes or no. That's the end of it. Um, and that's that's it. I mean, it's still asinine to do it, but you need to do it. Send him the link, and he can check to see whether or not he needs to update yeah. so his the permit. The research status. Oh, shizzle. What what's left, Brandon? What, what is we that? all there's an elephant in the room you need to address. Why? Happy happy joy. Go ahead, tell the people. I have no idea. I don't want to do that. Don't leave them now, hanging. Now I feel like we got to gang up on them. We're all shitheads and we're closing. That's oh, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Hold it right. back. I'm not, mad. Okay. Not, not right. I've had too many, too, too many emails this week complaining about the status on our rebuild. I already talked about that. I know. I just I think about it. We're rebuilding. I cry. Chill out. I cry at night thinking about these emails we get. IKEA stuff comes all the way from Sweden. It takes a minute. <laughs> all right. Put the peg in here. You put the wait. Yeah, you know all about that. Okay. You're- <laughs> all right, you caught me. I think this is going to be a shorter stream, right? So the mosquitoes are getting us. Yeah, oh, thank you, thank oh, you guys oh, for um, watching as always. And thank I, you if you're listening. If this if yeah. it's like weeks later, like you're just it's like December and you're listening right now. Thank you. A little Easter egg. You're a real one. <laughs> This one, I'm probably going to have to edit the audio because I think it's a little glitchy. Thanks, Elon. The The video sucks, so I'm sorry about that. And, um, this was an ad for Starlink. And it, yeah. this is, <laughs> thanks, Starlink. I mean, this is like probably the hardest thing for it to do, right? Like live. We are video. definitely putting it through its paces. <laughs> but I mean, if this stuff is used for mobile cool. for mobile homes and stuff, like, right? I feel like yeah, this yeah. is pretty adequate. Right. Well, all I'm going to say is Hope these mosquitoes like HIV. Protect that skin. Wow. Do the mosquitoes have foreskin?